cats can be very jumpy, so tickling them might seem like a no-go. Animal Wise investigates by asking, are cats ticklish? Are cats ticklish? According to research, there are two main types of tickling. The first is nismesis, referring to light tickling caused by light touch. This generates a pleasant sensation which can feel a little tingly. The other type of tickling is known as gargalesis, referring to a more energetic type of tickling which can generate involuntary laughter. It's generally produced by applying pressure and can induce hysteria. Cats and all animals are thought to be capable of feeling the tickle associated with nismesis. However, gargalesis is a unique phenomenon in humans and primates. It's a mechanism linked to play that causes a response exclusive to these species, namely laughter. Where to tickle cats? There are three key areas to tickle cats. The chin, the cheeks and the base of the tail. These are areas where cats have scent glands that release pheromones. When touched at these points, they are likely to feel a pleasant tingling sensation. How to know if a cat is ticklish? There are a number of signs that help us know if our cats enjoy being tickled. These include purring, kneading and relaxation to the point of closing their eyes. When tickling is unpleasant, cats tend to put their ears back, tense their muscles and shake their heads. If we are not aware of the inconvenience we are causing them, the feline will most likely move away from us. If we persist, they will likely scratch or bite us to show their discomfort. On the card above, we share a video which explains the best ways to relax your cat. How to tickle a cat If you want to tickle your cat, you must first choose a time when they are relaxed and receptive to being touched. Remember that petting, as well as any other sign of affection, helps to strengthen the bond with our animals. It's important to choose the right moments so the interaction is always positive. If you consider your cat to be receptive, you can proceed to gently touch some of the key areas we have recommended. At the same time, you must analyse their body language in order to discern if your cat is enjoying being tickled. If so, you can continue stroking these areas or look for other areas they enjoy being touched. Remember that each cat has their own tastes and it's up to you to learn their preferences without alienating them. Discover how and where to pet a cat in the next video we share on the card above. Areas to avoid Finally, it's important you know there are certain areas we must avoid petting the cat. Generally speaking, the paws, abdomen and tail are usually areas where the cat rejects touches. This will depend on the animal and their individual preferences as there may be other areas they reject being tickled. For this reason, it's important to pay attention to the signals our cat shows when we pet them and avoid tickling the areas that make them uncomfortable. If you want to continue learning curiosities about cats, don't miss the playlist we share here. Does your cat enjoy being tickled? Let us know by sharing in the comments and we'll see you next time.